For weeks, there were rumors that Motley Crue would enlist former Rob Zombie guitarist John Five to go out on the road with them upon the retirement from touring of Mick Mars. Last week, we got confirmation by way of a statement from Mick Mars representatives provided to Variety. On top of that, we got a nice statement from Motley Crue thanking Mick Mars for his contributions to the band, but we haven't really gotten a direct response talking about John Five joining the band from any members of Motley Crue, but we now do thanks to Nikki Six, who is opening up about that decision to enlist the guitar virtuoso going forward with the band. By the way, before we continue, thank you for tuning into Rockfeed. There are many of you who are returning viewers who have not yet subscribed. We really appreciate you watching and tuning in. The best way to support this channel is to simply hit that subscribe subscribe button. We really appreciate it. So in this statement provided to Variety by reps of Mick Mars, it says, Mick Mars co-founder and lead guitarist of the heavy metal band Motley Crue for the past 41 years has announced today that due to his ongoing painful struggle with ankylosing spondylitis, he will no longer be able to tour with the band. Mick will continue as a member of the band, but can no longer handle the rigors of the road. AS is an extremely painful, crippling, degenerative disease, which affects the spine. Now, Motley Crue responded to the news of his retirement with a very classy statement, which says, while change is never easy, we accept Mick's decision to retire from the band due to the challenges with his health. We have watched Mick manage his ankylosing spondylitis for decades, and he has always managed it with the utmost courage and grace. To say enough is enough is the ultimate act of courage. Mick's sound helped define Motley Crue from the minute he plugged in his guitar at our very first rehearsal together. The rest, as they say, is history. We'll continue to honor his musical legacy. We will carry out Mick's wish and continue to tour the world as planned in 2023. No doubt will it take an absolutely outstanding musician to fill Mick's shoes. So we are grateful that our good friend John Five has agreed to come on board and join us moving forward. We'll see our crew heads out on the road, Vince, Tommy, and Nikki. John Five said, I'm honored to carry on Mick's legacy and I'm looking forward to playing these songs. So now we have further insight from Nikki Six, who is elaborating on the band's decision to specifically enlist John Five. Of course, a band as big as Motley Crue, they pretty much could pick just about any guitarist they want. So it's especially an honor that John Five was selected. It really speaks to his talent. It's a decision that has clearly been popular with the fans. There hasn't been any backlash to this. A lot of people are excited to see what he can do up there on the stage. And he's surely more than capable for anybody who's seen him perform. We first reported here at Rockfeed back at Aftershock during Rob Zombie's set. John 5 was absent. Rob Zombie didn't give an explanation. And then there was that report from Metal Sludge, which was accurate, that there were rumors circulating that John 5 had been offered the position to tour with Motley Crue going forward. So Nikki Six responded to some fan questions about that decision to go with John Five on Twitter. He was asked about why they chose him specifically. He said, he checks all the boxes. He's an insane player, has respect for our music, is funny as fuck and has history with us. And we've written some pretty big hits together. He then paid homage to his longtime bandmate, Mick Mars. He said, he's been a soldier along with us for four decades. We will continue to carry our legacy to generations of fans and honor Mick's request for us to keep touring as Motley Crue. John Five certainly has a tremendous respect for the legacy of Motley Crue. He loves the band and seems to have an excellent relationship with every member of the group. So this is just all positive. And again, the main thing here is that we want to pay homage to Mick Mars. What a career he's had. And he has just handled his diagnosis with so much courage and bravery. And even on this summer tour, they put on great shows. The band got great reviews. You didn't hear a lot about people that were disappointed by those shows. So there was a lot of question about whether or not Vince Neil was going to be able to perform these shows and clearly he was able to and they all pulled it off so they're carrying forward into next year and they're going to be out there on the road with John 5 it's an exciting time for Motley Crue fans let us know what you think down in the comments and again thank you for tuning into Rockfeed and be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet we would really appreciate it and you can check out the recommended video up on your screen